Hey Virgos, welcome to your reading. Um, different setup, but same reader. <laughs> I hope you're well. I'm doing much better. Um, thanks for all those who asked. Um, I have been slow getting the readings out this month because I haven't been well. So, um, yeah, I haven't forgot you guys. I'm still going to post your guys doing it a bit more comfier setting for me to sit down and do your readings. So, let's see what we have going on without further ado. Um, and if you're new, welcome. Let's see. Young female, so you could be a young female, or you may be dealing with a female who's younger than you here. We'll see. And I'll leave the name of the cards in the description box, along with how to contact me for personal reading. So, fair male. Um, and just check how I do my other video formats, just so you'll know how you'll receive your personal reading. So, like I said about the young female, you could be the fair male, or you could be dealing with a fair male okay let's see passion so i feel like you guys you might not be so young i guess this passion between you both just makes you feel or made you feel like teenagers um long distance relationship i've seen that a lot but i know with all this stuff going on in the world um everybody is kind of dealing with long distance relationships could be something new here with this passion so high um or this could be somebody coming into your life jumping out already here queen of pentacles ten of wands so you're ending a cycle here of hardship and burden um putting a lot behind you i feel like this is you getting back to you having done shadow work um and you can do this right um do the internal work in order so that you can be very fruitful on the outside here you could be dealing with um another earth sign here or a fire and that might be why the passion came up doesn't really matter about the signs here but i feel like it's you getting back to a place where you can now be more fruitful for yourself um taking better care of yourself here um you've put a lot behind you with this ten of wands you've been through a lot this is a lot of burden um a, a lot of hardship on your journey if you like and going through a lot of difficult times i feel somewhat on your own you know having to stand on your own two feet um and this could be somebody coming towards you here who makes you feel alive again makes you feel that passion and excitement again so let's see what's going on what's your story virgo the fool so it is a new beginning coming towards you here or an opportunity to for somebody to reach out i feel if it's them who was going through a lot of burden they felt quite lonely you too but i feel like if we're talking about the other person it was difficult for them to reach out because they felt they was carrying a lot of weight with them. Maybe a new soulmate coming into your life and they've had to really work through a lot in their life and this is how you'll relate to one another. But I feel like following your dreams or your passion, whatever your creative goals are, may lead you to each other here. You may have started working for yourself and this person enters your life um, via your business with the Queen of Pentacles there. That's somebody who owns their own business, the Hermit. So here you are, right? And this is that inner work that I was talking of, that shadow work that you've had to do. Um, we all face it at some point and there is light within us all. We just have to face the fear of going there, right? And let go of things. So I believe that you have been letting go of a lot of things that aren't good for you. This can be friends and family, even maybe a career and starting to work for yourself um, with the Queen of Pentacles there. But it definitely seems like you've had to cut a lot of things off and the fall makes me feel like you've had to, or you felt quite alone for maybe a long time with this 10 of wands. Um, and you're looking for something real or someone real now as the same as you, this queen of pentacles energy, somebody nurturing. Because I do believe you give your all um, to the point you drain yourself and you had to go through this spiritual lesson in order for you to learn not to do this. Right, Virgos? Um, so, you know, better than anybody to 
retreat into your cave and do that inner work is always going to be the best outcome for you. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you've definitely faced spiritual challenges here um, in your romantic life. This is your seventh house. So long term relationships you could have had challenges with or could be at present facing challenges and bringing that cycle to an end. So it could be somebody or it could be you wanting to leave a relationship because of it feels like a burden. It feels like um maybe they've been unhappy or you've been unhappy so yeah okay the sun um the sun card here was reversed but it just means delays um i believe that you will have this positive energy coming up for you like i said with that long distance there's delays in meeting new people um and i believe that you know, if you're single, you're definitely feeling this impact of um, the lockdown and what's going on, having to keep to yourself, wanting somebody or feeling ready for somebody new to come into your life, but it being difficult dating. So the sun reversed is telling us it will happen. There is delays, but it will happen here. Just remain positive. There's a, a big injection of positivity coming into your life after a long time of this ten of wands. Seven of Cups now. So, you know, it, it, I feel like you're having very strong dreams, okay, about this soulmate coming into your life. You may not know exactly what they look like. You may dream of a younger female or a fair male, and um, that's your soulmate connecting with you on the spiritual plane, um, letting you know they're coming towards you. They'll be dreaming of you too. You know, when you have those dreams and you're like, um, it, it was kind of you, but it didn't look like you. That sort of thing. You'll feel that connection. You'll know it's somebody important to you. And they'll come forward as an option to be with you here. Um, a soulmate connection. You're definitely going to be very psychically connected to this person um, with the Seven of Cups there. But I feel like up until this point, you faced with these Sevens challenges in long-term relationships um, you face challenges with partners trying to confuse you, maybe even tell you, look, it, 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 you're not you're not believing me and things like that, gaslighting you. That's the word I'm looking for, telling you that you're crazy. Six of cups. So, yeah, uh, somebody you may have a new option and somebody from your past wanting to return. And that's why we see seven of cups options. Right. After a long period where you felt quite lonely. The thing is, when we feel lonely. We don't want to accept things that aren't good for us, right? And it can happen. And in the Seven of Cups, we usually see that not everything that glitters is gold, right? There's usually a snake in a cup and a tower, uh, things like that. So just be aware that there is a soulmate coming. That Six of Cups is a soulmate card. Um, and somebody who wants to spend time with you, make memories with you. So... Just be aware of that Seven of Cups energy next to that Six of Cups. It may be that the new person's not right for you or the old person's not right for you. I'll leave it up to your own discretion there, right? We all have free will and we all have um, intuition. So use it wisely. That's that Seven of Cups, your intuition. Um, you've done a lot of spiritual work. You don't want to be knocked back down. Five of Wands, suggesting there still are challenges ahead, but not as big as they were, okay? Because this Five of Wands, this is um, challenges we can get over, okay? This can be maybe disagreeing with somebody. It could even be disagreeing with family members, and that's why you've had to walk away from them, or friends here, even grown children um, with that Six of Cups energy. Six of Cups can show us energy connected with our children and things like that, okay, because it's usually a child card. Um, so with the Five of Wands, I do see that... Um, Maybe you're having some challenges now just waiting for the lockdown to be over and getting out of there. Like I said, it'll be individual to each person. Okay, page of uh, pentacles here. So you are learning something new. Maybe learning to control, um, you know, just listening to answer somebody back. I feel like you might be learning to control um 
how you speak with people, I, I believe. Um, it could be that you're learning, again, how to promote your new career, your new job and things like that. It may feel like you're starting from the beginning, learning something new, but you're starting with experience here. So you don't, you're not at the beginning, really. You have experience. You're just leveling up and you're going to learn different things, how you can work through different um, stages in your life, right? Not every lesson do we want to be the same cycle. And this is what I feel you've learned. You're like, okay, it's kind of on me. I kind of need to end uh, this cycle of being the one who always carries the burden, always putting in and getting nothing back. Um, so you've learned a very valuable spiritual lesson here with the hermit. You may be reaching out to people um, in the spiritual community. Um, you may be joining um, classes and things like that or want to um, teach them, right? Okay, Ace of Pentacles. So it may be that um, you've now become like a coach of some sort. Um, you may be even like learning a different way to make money here, to be um, an entrepreneur, something like that, um, setting up your own business, seeing what options are out there, especially now we're all stuck at home, right? Um, so again, this person could be younger than you showing up as a page as well, and they had to learn their lessons. And this is why you spent time on your own. It's very important here. The death card. So we've got major changes coming up for you, Virgo. It's not only endings that you'll face. Remember, when you have to cut people out of your life who are not serving you, that's the Ten of Wands. And you may feel like, I've said goodbye to so many people and so many things. You know, what now? Well, now you can have this rebirth. And that's the change that's coming, right? Still Scorpio season while I'm recording this as well. So maybe you're going through these changes and this is what you want to see, right? You want to see the real thing, real love. You want these real changes to happen, especially if somebody's returning from your past. Have they really changed? Have they gone through this death and rebirth and done the shadow work like you? Again, the Ace of Cups is your intuition and you'll definitely know. So listen to your intuition or any red flags. Good luck, guys.